Peace and blessings, family. Sister Ajali, Ashe to the spirit of recently transitioned Tracks a Million, and my sincere condolences to his family and friends who are going to miss him. I know that has got to be certain when you are connected uh, via just lifelines, you miss that person as if a leg of yours is gone or, or just it's a very physical morning when you have someone close to you transition and they're so young he was only 46 and I don't know anything about this young man uh, and I haven't talked about those of us who've transitioned since Coolio um, but this strikes me because there's been so many who've transitioned and the storyline that has been pre-scripted for all of us to follow without thinking. We tend to not think too deeply so that we can understand the weapon that is being wielded against all of us. We'll hear a story like this, and the usual suspects are it's a ritual murder. Sometimes, yes, it is, especially if it's a shooting. This wasn't a shooting. Brother went out from cancer, and a very rare cancer, which pretty much seals a deal on how he got that cancer. But when my king told me about his passing, I said, oh, a rapper? Was he on, living in California? Ta, 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 da. Turns out, yes, he lived, resided in San Francisco. And the usual suspects are, you know, ritual murder, the uh, global pathogen uh, that hasn't been proven anywhere on the face of the earth in any lab whatsoever. Um, or uh, because you went to a doctor and you rolled up your sleeve and you got something for the invisible thing that hasn't been proven anywhere. That's a fact. I can't speak on it directly, but it's a fact, okay? We've all, be, ain't nothing you could create in a lab that's cheaper than what you could create using a computer algorithm. So therefore, those are the things that have been pre-scripted so that when one of ours or one of anybody's transitions, especially youthful age, we're going to automatically just assume that it must be that. And that keeps you off of paying attention to the death that is in all of our food, all of our food. Some things have to be repeated. And this is one of them easily, along with the radioactive rice, along with the smoking weed is, whoo, I read that like uh, half of Americans right now are smoking weed. And that means that a huge portion of them people are smoking plutonium, okay? Because it is a phytoremediator, the best on the planet for soaking up radiation. They use it in Chernobyl. So smoking plutonium, taking it in your lungs, is the very method that will just take you out with some severe lung cancer at the very least. It will travel through the bloodstream to all of your other organs, it'll travel to your bones. You, you could be sucking up some strontium too, okay? And so the FDA has recently approved the import of all Fukushima produce and there'll be no alerts, even though the soil just was recently tested and found to be just as radioactive as it was right after Fukushima blast tons and tons of radionuclides into the air and it's never stopped spewing radiation via the ocean not a single day okay so this right here is my bookmark one of my files it's the hours files and that's for our recently transitioned loved ones i'm not going to be talking about the pink folks but trust and believe i got their file right on the right over here their young deaths it's oh reams longer than ours okay because their feel melanin 
is not up to par with the strength of our eumelanin, but our eumelanin is not magical. Please do not think it's magical. So I'm going to show you because people will, will, I want you to know this is happening long before what we are experiencing right now, where what I used to have was a playlist and I talked about the young athletes dying. I talked about the youth dying years before anything got popped off that just whole populations believe is true because the white man in our minds medically is still God. We've taken white Jesus off the wall, but we still got white Dr. Jesus hanging in our minds. So anything they say as vicious historically as they've been, we're just going to go with it and not do any further research. It's, I'm trying to be a better person and not yell at you. <laughs> I really am. Because I love you and I know that we've been driven insane. So we trust the devil. But I just want you to know that, yeah, let, let me show you some of these dates here. These deaths I started just tabulating uh, long after I realized that, wait a minute, I, I don't need to just keep concentrating on all the animals that are dying, which when you see the patterns, the, like I said, the chemtrails, they're going globally, uh, but the die off started in the Pacific ocean. And that's why when my King said this brother died, I said, was he, he was in California, right? He said, how'd you know? <laughs> and he actually was joking cause he knows how I know right? There's a pattern. There's a pattern of die off that everything started on the West coast. When you saw those orange skies that nobody paid attention to me. And they removed all those videos. I have them on file, right? But still the orange skies, when the forest fires were happening, you only saw that in California, little bit in Australia. Australia was also hammered. I understand a little bit in Texas, but primarily those skies were lividly orange for days, for days, because that's where the bulk of the radiation was. And Professor Yuri Bandashevsky did a whole paper about how the forest fires around Chernobyl were re-liberating the nucleic isotopes right back into the atmosphere. These are things that I just, I have just an acumen for understanding. I'm not saying I ain't brilliant. Oh no, whole friggin' city's worth of black us are way smarter than I am. It's just that I seem to have this insane love for you. Take advantage of it, okay? So this brother, Chester Williams, South African cup winner dies at 49 and there were younger players who also in teenagers who would just die right in the middle of the basketball court or the football field and i explained it which is radiation is going to be more absorbed in bodies that require more nutrition such as even in your even if you're old if you have a certain section of your body that requires replenishment the radiation is going to be attracted to that section of your body primarily and such as your heart muscles oh such as the organs that you utilize constantly or organs that are ailing with the youth they're in a state of still growing and so the radiation is going to congregate often in their bones, causing leukemia. And there's ways and methods to cure all of these different cancers, depending on just how severe and just how protracted it is. The way that they mention his death, he was, they say it was devastating. He was still young and seemingly in good health. That implies brother just dropped, just dropped. And they have listed down here three other players. James Small died of a heart attack, age 50. Uh, Juice van der Westhausen died after battling motor neuron disease. That could have other origins, but still 
radiation will affect the electrical processes of your body, okay? And then also Ruben Kruger died in 2010 from brain cancer. That was before Fukushima, but it wasn't before nuclear facilities. And that's another thing I need to highlight because we don't understand the difference between pollution and radiation. Every single book I've read where nuclear physicists tabulated the statistics of the rates of death around nuclear facilities, they have found that there's no change. There's no change in the levels of pollution from ordinary regular sources. The one change is they opened up a nuclear power plant and that's when the deaths escalated well beyond what was happening ordinarily throughout the continents, okay? So no, it's not ordinary pollution that's causing this massive escalation in deaths. And this article is dated, let me go on up here, 2019, well before anything that we're experiencing. And remember, I was collecting these stories on my playlist, our transition before their time, years before even 2019. Here we have Ahmad Givens, real chance of love start, dead at 33, colon cancer. I don't know, he probably was in California too, but let's keep it moving. Okay, and another brother, black man who led one, I don't know if he was a brother doing what he was doing. I can't say because I don't know the details of what he did. But black man who led one of nation's largest neo-Nazi groups dies on a bid to destroy it. I just, eh, it sounds suspect to me, right? But this is from 2019 and he also was taken out uh, by cancer and he died in his home in California. This is long. It's long. I don't even know what date is on this one. Here we go. Missouri High School football player dies after suffering cardiac arrest following practice. We must dispense with the gullibility so that we do not look at the data and we automatically assume if you're listening to me, She's a housewife. She's not white approved. She couldn't possibly know what she's talking about. I'm the only one doing the level of research that I do over this specific subject matter. That is a gift. I'm not saying it's for me, okay? I'm trying, I was trying to get out of this daggone thing. I still wouldn't mind getting out of this daggone thing, okay? I'm just saying, listen. And I also want to acknowledge the Haitian brother, Michael McCobbin, Benjamin, my apologies if I'm pronouncing his uh, nickname incorrectly, uh, but I understand he died just getting off the stage. He, he was only 41, Ashe, and my condolences. And Joyce Sims, I, I always count 65 and under. You should not just be dropping dead suddenly. That in olden days, that would warrant an investigation. In these days, they're trying to normalize the intolerable. So my condolences and my ashe to sister Joyce Sims and her friends and family. When I first started reporting unusual transitions of our youth, I made a clean uh, just rule for myself. I didn't talk about my, right then it was still just This Black was the book that I had. I didn't talk about that because people's lives are sacred. So I mean it. This is not advertisement. This book is a lifeline. It is a rescue. You cannot deal with radiation by just eating healthy. That's a wonderful start, but you have to specifically target the 
build up in order to get it out of your body because it's in there and there's certain things that they're pushing on us Seamoss and sister Zizza the artist Ooh, I thank Allah for that sister um she shared with me an article that they're now pushing saltwater algae as a substitute for meat they're relentless between the FDA removing all alerts and now they're just going to say, oh, saltwater algae and see moss it up, black folks. You don't have to be on California anymore. And because the radiation doesn't stand still, the longer we take building up our awareness and supporting those it doesn't have to be me who starts up a lab uh, but i built up the best platform to get that done you need this book it's not a charity it is the first step in our forever if i'm the only one who's going to be putting it out here like this like i said i don't mind my betters i welcome them I look for them. So far, this is what you got. Please support me in fighting on our behalf so that we don't lose any more of our beautiful, mighty people. Peace and blessings. Ashe and condolences.